4D Zebra Butt with a Moving Tail Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing my little zebra logo, but from the back side. So I'm going to be doing a zebra silhouette butt side forward with a tail that moves back and forth. A while ago, um, a couple years ago actually, I made a 3D zebra and her head is stuck out from the nail and that when I made that nail I had never done anything like that and it was such a proud moment for myself so I thought I'd just go back through and do one but do it from the back side you know update it but change it so I hope you like this and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well to begin with I'm going to start by creating a hole about halfway down the nail tip with an e-file so just carve out a little hole try to get it as small as you can but all the way through the plastic tip um, so I'm using the smallest bit I have, but if you have one that's smaller, go ahead and use that instead. Just really small hole. It has to be wide enough for your wire, but the smaller beyond that, the better. And then add an overlay over the entire nail, but avoid filling in that hole that you just made. Otherwise, there was no point in making the hole. But just, <laughs> just add an overlay over the rest of that with a really bright pink. This zebra is my little logo, and really quick, I'm going to give you a little rundown on how I created her. About two years ago, well, almost actually coming in on three years, huh, time flies. Anyways, I had a lot of time on my hands. I was, um, my mother just had surgery and I was helping her recover. During that time, I was staying at my grandmother's house and didn't have my art supplies. I had my iPad, so I started doodling this little zebra. And I ended up deciding that I would animate it, which I did for the intro. Really simple animation, nothing too extraordinary there. But I decided to animate, animate it and make a new intro for myself. Previously, the intro was just a horrible stop motion that I'm glad I no longer have. So I decided to create her and this is the zebra and I absolutely love this logo and I've been using it and it's actually on almost everything I own. It's, it's on my computer, it's on my phone. I love her. And in case you're wondering, it's been asked a couple times recently, her name is Zeta because that's the weird name I came up with. After you have that, I've got glitter in the background of the nail, clear acrylic, file, buff. Now we're ready to start actually creating the 3D stuff here. So now I'm going to be just a circle for the back of her head just create that nice round white acrylic and then i'm going to be adding her neck so just it's almost as wide as her head just a little thinner so just add that going down and then fan that out so it's almost like a rounded triangle just press that out with your brush currently i'm not worrying about like the head being a little thicker all of that but then i'm going to be adding her her nice big round butt with white and just create a nice circle there and now this part as i was editing this i'm thinking oh dear i don't want to say this then create a hole in the butt with a piece of wire going through through the nail, through that hole underneath. And I was, as I was typing out the little instructions, I'm thinking, oh geez, that sounds so terrible. <laughs> but that's for the tail. So you gotta make sure that you have the hole there. And then add her ears with white acrylic. So just little tiny bits. And I'm using my 3D sculpting brush now. Before I was using, I use a number eight brush and a 3D sculpting brush for pretty much everything. So here is the little ears there. And then go through and add her legs. So just bright white acrylic going down, adding nice legs coming just like that, that go almost to the bottom of the nail or to the tip of the nail. I do want to have room for her hooves, so I'm going to wait and not take them all the way to the very tip. And then there's the other leg. So my logo, her tail is, the top of her tail is about smack dab in the middle if you go from the top of her mane to the bottom of her feet. So if you make her tail, if you know in advance that it's going to be in the center of the nail, then you know that you can basically stretch the rest of her out to the top of the nail and to the bottom of the nail if that makes sense and then we take with more white acrylic and add just a little bit more of like a roundness to the back of her head just a little bit just like that yep just make it so it's not quite so flat blend that out smooth it out and then i'm going to be taking with black and i'm going to be adding her mane so i'm going to start with that little bit that sticks up on the top of her head and then continue it down the back of her head and down her neck so just add little bits of black acrylic and then just sort of like pull it out into little spikes with the tip of the brush. I have never drawn her from the back view before or thought about it too much until I decided to do this nail. And so I was looking up all kinds of zebra photos trying to decide how I wanted her mane to be, if I wanted it to just be black or if I wanted to be black and white like an actual zebras, an actual zebras are. I So anyway, so this is what I came up with and it was kind of funny because I I never thought about it. You think, oh, just draw from the other side. Well, there's things to consider there. So it was an interesting 
thought process and experience to figure that out. And then with black, I'm going to be adding her hooves. And then I'm going to push that piece of wire that is the right size that I'm going to be making her tail on through the nail. And then I'm going to be bending a little L onto the underside of that, just really short, just like that, and then pull that up through. And I was using a fingernail clippers for that. Normally I would use wire tools, but my wire tools and I were in different locations, so I couldn't use them. And so then after you have that, I'm just going to pull that as tight as I can and then bend it down. So you got sort of a Z shape going on now. And then I'm going to just fix up my poster putty got a little messed up there. Then reattach it there just like that, just hold in place. And then puncture a piece of plastic and then string that up the wire that's on top of the nail so that it lays flat against the zebra, just like so. So just have that. Now that plastic, you could also use like a nail form. Um, that would, I never really thought about it, but that would work. You could use a nail form to do this. Just have a hole in it and then string it up and lay it down. That actually probably would have worked better but the plastic works. So then you're gonna to wanna to be sculpting her tail on top of the wire, on top of the plastic, on top of the nail. Ooh. And so just have that, so just sculpt the top of her tail just like that, bring that down. Now because it is on top of the wire, her tail is thicker than it would be if I were to just draw it, which is okay, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it does seem thicker than I would probably normally choose. Once you have that in place, just go ahead and cut off the rest of the wire. A fingernail clippers does work for that. I would use a fingernail clippers or toenail clippers that you don't use frequently because it is not really good for them. And then add, just make sure you touch up all your white acrylic, but then add the little black puff on the end of her tail. So just go ahead and take a little bit of black acrylic, add that to the bottom there. It does take a little more than I initially grabbed, so just add a little more, and then pull that into almost like an upside down uh, raindrop shape. So just round it at the top and comes to a point at the tip. And then after you have that in place like that, you can go ahead and just make sure it looks good. But then once it's fully set, sort of pull the plastic, it'll the wire will start to tear it, and then you can remove it off from the tail and then just make sure the tail swings back and forth and then you can go ahead and start with the painting. So I'm going to start by outlining things and this is another thing I was thinking okay so now how all these things that I had to think about to do to figure out how to draw her from the opposite direction. So I'm going to outline her ears and you can't see any of the pink in her ears like you could if it was from the front so just don't worry about that part. Add little stripes all down the back of her head and her neck and then on her backside add the stripes just like that going back and forth from side to side very similar to how they are on her stomach. And then once you get to the point where her tail is in the way, move on for a second, do her legs. So add the stripes back and forth on her legs, just like that little bits of black paint swiping from either direction. And then by the time you're finished with her legs, um, you can check to see if your paint's dry. If it's not dry, add the stripes to her tails, just little lines going across like that. And then it should be dry and you can flip the tail and you can spin it around so that it's going up check though like I did with my fingertip to make sure but then add the stripes that are going underneath her tail and then after that is dried you can do whatever you want with the tail and then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background so over that glittery pink just like that and then cure that after that's cured and you take it out of your lamp go ahead and apply matte top coat over the 3d and make sure that you don't glue her tail down in place so apply matte top coat where you can let it dry move the tail apply the rest of it and there you have it and that is it that is all done this was so much fun to make i have made a, a zeta from the front view a couple years ago one of the first 3d designs i did i'll put a link to that in the description box below so check that out and i will see you in my next video bye